Good morning everyone and welcome back to the start of a new vlog. So I am obviously still in my pyjamas. I've just had a shower. You can probably still hear it dripping in the bathroom. Obviously washed my hair, popped it up in this little turban thing which I got from White Company and it's so so handy i just literally leave it on after i've washed my hair and it keeps it out of my face i am starting a new vlog today i actually only finished the other vlog the day before yesterday but i thought i would film a bit of a shorter vlog this time so less days but film more things throughout the day so today is monday monday the 20th of march i can't believe it's almost the end of March already. It's crazy. I am so looking forward now to summer and the summer weather. If you watched my last vlog, you would have seen that Tom and I played that holiday deal or no deal. So I am very, very excited for our holidays this year. But yeah, today's Monday and I am going to Bista Village actually today with all the girls, which will be really nice. Sophie, Holly and Rachel. So it's now quarter past eight and I am going to meet them there at half past ten I think. So um, it's not far from me. It's, it's about half an hour, 40 minutes, but there are, I know there are some traffic lights because I got caught in a bit of traffic the last time I went. So I think I'm going to leave about half past nine and that will give me time to like get petrol and stuff as well. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm not really planning on buying anything. I just want to have a little look to see if they've got any nice summery bits for my holidays or anything because now is the time to get all that kind of stuff. We're going to go to the apartment as well which I love. It's so nice in there and maybe to, I think it's called Latua, the pasta restaurant and get some lunch. So that is my plan for today. I've got some admin and stuff to do as well at home so I may if I'm ready early, try and do that before I leave. And then hopefully I shouldn't be back too late. I should be back no later than sort of like half past two in the afternoon. So it should give me a couple of hours to crack on with some work when I get back as well. I've been setting my alarm earlier every day or every few days for the last, probably the last month. My alarm's going off at about quarter to eight. By the time I got out of bed, it was about eight o'clock and I was walking Maple at about quarter past eight. And I thought, I just don't have enough time in the day to be, you know, sleeping in that long. So I thought I'm gonna sort of do this over a period of time so it's not a shock one morning, but I set my alarm literally five minutes earlier every other morning, only in the week, not the weekend. So I could be getting up at 6.30 every morning. So that is what I'm now doing. I've got to 6.30, so I'm really pleased because that's an extra hour and 15 minutes. So I'm actually back from walking Maple at the time that I was waking up a month or so ago. So I'm very happy about that. But yeah, I got up at 6.30 this morning and it is always the most difficult on a Monday morning when I've had the whole weekend of kind of lying in a bit. So I was very tired this morning, very tired, but I did sleep really well, which was good. So yeah, I'm hoping to get a nice early night. Be restful so I can be fresh for the rest of the week. I have been filming over on TikTok some vlog style videos i've i do kind of two styles i've done some that are more casual so i just film what i've been up to like over the weekend or if i have a nice day planned or something and then i do like a little voiceover but i've also been filming some um asmr style vlogs at home so i will leave my tiktok in the description box in case you guys want to check it out but i been finding filming them so fun so i really hope you enjoy them i'm trying out so many new brow products at the moment and i'm loving the glossier boy brow i think i've got shade medium here um but i'm loving this really 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 natural i think i do need to maybe pluck my eyebrows i used to pluck them all the time and shape them and i just never do anymore i've just let them completely grow out so they're very, very bushy. I painted my nails last night um, and I'm super pleased and happy with my nails at the moment. These are obviously my natural nails. I used to use a set, like a gel lamp and some polishes and stuff that I've just got from Amazon. I will leave them linked down below because they are a really, really good set. But I recently got sent a set from the manicurist 
the manicurist or just manicurist i'm not sure the green green flash i think it's called the base coat the color the top coat and obviously the led lamp so this is the second time that i've used this on my fingers I've also used it on my toes as well and i'm super happy with the results i really like using it the color is a little bit more pink than I would probably prefer. I'd probably prefer something with a beige undertone rather than a pink. But I'm really, really pleased with how hard wearing they are. They last so well, super strong, um, no chipping at all. So yeah, I will obviously leave that link down below as well, but I'm really, really pleased with them. I'm glad I decided to upgrade my little Amazon kit a little bit. I'm gonna just take my hair out of this now in case it goes really frizzy. I use Olaplex number six without fail every time i wash my hair i think it is such a good product for wet hair leave my hair down and just clip it so it's out of my way but i find if i leave it in the towel too long it ends up going a little bit frizzy so i think it's better to just kind of air dry it for the time being obviously doing my makeup first to save some time anyway i think i've caught you guys up on everything that i wanted to so i will um Finish getting ready and then I'll show you my outfit before I leave. So I am ready to leave the house now and this is my outfit. I'm thinking I'm probably gonna be a little bit chilly but I'm just gonna have to deal with it. Um, so this is what I've got on. I've got this cute black cropped kind of boucle style jacket from um, Urban Revival. I actually got it in a collab that I did with them. That was a big lorry. Um, about a year ago now, I think, but it's so cute. I really love this, great quality as well. And then black bodysuit is Zara, it's long sleeve, so I'm hoping that's gonna keep me a bit warmer. Jeans are straight leg jeans, also from Zara. Black Converse, and then I've got my Aneem Bing bag, because it's got gold hardware, so it goes better with the jacket than my YSL does, because that's silver hardware. Yeah, so this is the outfit. Kind of spring-like, because I'm just wearing a jacket, but also because it's all black, it's still kind of wintry, but it's a nice comfy outfit, so hopefully I'll be warm enough. I'll catch up with you guys when I'm at Vista. So back from Bista, I vlogged a little bit, um, but we weren't actually there for that long today. We're only there for about two and a half hours. Just had something to eat. Had a little mooch around. I tried on those ballet flats again, the same ones that I liked the last time I went. But the same thing put me off again. Um, just gonna pop you there while I take my jacket off. Yeah, the same thing put me off again, and I just didn't think that I would get the wear out of them. I thought £330 is a good price for what they are, but if I'm not going to wear them, it doesn't matter if they're a good price or not, does it? So I thought, no, I'm going to be sensible. I don't need them, but they did look quite good with this outfit that I have on. Speaking of which... I, it, what is the time now? It's only 10 past three, but I'm thinking I may put my pajamas and my dressing gown on. Also, my ring has broken, I've just noticed. It might, must have just happened. It's literally just like snapped. Um, so I'm gonna have to throw that away, which is so annoying. It was such a pretty little ring. It's from Anna Luisa. But it must have just got caught, like as I was coming through the front door. Here's the other half of it. Sorry, this is not a great angle. I've only got a bit of like admin and editing and stuff to do at my computer. So I'm thinking pajamas and dressing gown for the rest of the afternoon. So that's what I'm gonna do.
so welcome to tuesday i think this vlog is not going to be a weekly vlog i think it's just going to be like a couple of days because the last one that i'm currently trying to edit now um it's just too long <laughs> it was like i had an hour of footage so i've had to actually delete some of it and leave some of it out because it was just too much and i know none of you want to watch a vlog that long so i'm thinking just vlog obviously what you saw yesterday and today um, i'm just doing my skincare this morning i'm using these elemis dynamic resurfacing facial pads i actually got these from amazon and i really really like them a little bit of eye cream this is the ren brightening dark circle eye cream and i have used about two or three of these little pots and i absolutely love them so yeah obviously doing my skincare now i've just tanned and i use the tan Lux gradual tan and the um the water from tan Lux as well i love both of those products um, but I always, always use a gradual tan as my moisturiser before I put my proper tan on. It just makes it last longer. So that was a good a little tip. I think it's still fairly early. I'm hoping it's still before 9 o'clock because um, I've got a lot of filming to do today. I've set myself a big old task. Normally the way I work is I film in the morning and do all my editing in the afternoon. I'm thinking what I might do today is just film all day and edit all day tomorrow. I got up early this morning and walked Maple and wow, it was wet this morning. We got absolutely soaked. The poor thing is drenched still. I tried to dry her as best as I could, but she wasn't having it. So our walk actually did get cut a little bit short this morning, which is a shame. I've also got my HelloFresh box being delivered today, which I am really looking forward to. I'll probably make one of the recipes with you guys this evening actually or maybe tomorrow evening i'm not sure i'm actually working with hellofresh over on instagram i do have a discount code for you which i thought i may as well mention in this vlog because you guys can still use it um it is amybeth60 and it gets you 60 percent off your first box and 25 percent off the next eight boxes so for the next two months so that is a really really good saving and honestly, I'm loving using HelloFresh. I'm really, really enjoying it. My mum is loving it as well, and we are definitely going to continue it once um, my collaboration with them is finished because it's just so easy. I really hope I haven't been out of focus that whole time. Probably have known this camera. But yeah, it's just so easy to use. I'm loving picking out the different recipes. I've tried so many new ingredients and new dishes that I would never have normally picked up or thought of myself. So obviously all the ingredients are fresh, you get exactly the amount that you need. So there's no wastage at all. It saves me going to the supermarket, it saves me having to think up different meal ideas in my head the week before. Yeah, I'm just really enjoying it. So that is Amy Beth 60 all in caps. I'll pop it on the screen if I remember and I'll put it in the description box in case you wanna get yourself a little HelloFresh discount. But yeah, I am loving using it and I will show you the recipes that I picked out later once my box arrives. I haven't tanned my face in so long. So it's looking a little translucent and the bags under my eyes are looking very prominent. They always do when I haven't tanned, but I'm gonna do my makeup now and then I'm filming a Dyson Airwrap video. So I'll do that off camera um, and you can go and check that out. I'm sure that'll be up by now. very precariously balanced on two of my perfume boxes um but i finished my filming for today oh bye then um and i thought that i would organize some of my jewelry if you watched my last zara haul i think it was my last one or the one before i can't remember i got this jewelry box from monica vinader miscellaneous piece of jewelry in there as well that i need to put away but i got this to put it's the right way most of my kind of everyday jewelry into i think it's such a cute little leather pouch 
um, and I just thought it would be, make it a lot more accessible for me to have the jewellery that I switch between kind of on a regular basis in one place because I do have this jewellery box which is from Amazon which has a lot of jewellery in and every time I want to get something I have to take this out the drawer and I have to search through and it's just a bit of a faff. I'm thinking about transferring the pieces that I wear more regularly into that little mini Monica Vineta pouch and then this way as well I can just like zip it up put it in my suitcase, put it in my overnight bag if I'm going anywhere and I've got everything with me as opposed to like looking through this big jewellery box every single time I want to pack. So that's what I'm going to do today um, or right now this afternoon and then I'm going to have an afternoon of editing I think. I filmed a Zara haul this morning. I filmed, let me tell you what I filmed because I'm very proud of myself. I filmed my Dyson Airwrap video. I filmed a Zara haul both for YouTube. I filmed a Zara unboxing for Instagram, I filmed a Zara unboxing for TikTok and I filmed a Zara reel. So I've done pretty well this morning and it's only one o'clock. This is the first job, put my jewelry away. I'll show you if I have any new pieces, but I don't think I do. Let me show you some of my faves. And then I'm gonna edit, hopefully edit quite a lot of the stuff that I shot this morning. And then tonight we can cook some HelloFresh together. Um, I'll show you the recipe cards actually, cause they arrived this morning. So I'll show you what we've got and then we can decide what to cook. Also, this tracksuit that I'm wearing, I have been living in for the past few days. It's from another version and I just love it. I got it super oversized. They only had the jumper and the joggers in a medium. So I probably would have picked a small in both, to be honest, but it's nice and oversized and cozy, so I don't mind it, but it's just so soft and keeps me really warm and it's better than me having you can see I've got it behind me anyway. It's better than me having my dressing gown on all the time because I was editing a vlog the other day and I just realized how much I wear that dressing gown. So it must be really annoying for you guys to see. So I thought, no, I need to actually put clothes on. So we've gone for this set today. I'll link it down below. Right, let's get organizing. So excuse the um, spray on my desk, not my desk, my chest of drawers. I was using my the water tan from Tan Lux and it sprayed a bit on here so I need to polish this later but I thought I would show you the jewellery box now. I put all my favourite bits in, obviously won't link everything because there's quite a lot here um, but most of it is Monica Vinida and Asti Clark and I think a few bits from PD Paola as well like these gorgeous earrings from PD Paola these are Asti Clark studs on Monica Vinida beautiful beautiful rings here as you can see I mostly wear gold but I popped yeah my favorite rings in here that I switched between there's a couple of like more chunky rings in here let me get them out this one is Monica Vinida and this one is PD Paola then we have a little bracelet in there from Monica Vinida Fendi earrings these are some like huggy hoops that didn't fit in here. My Monica Vinida bracelets, a couple of tennis bracelets, and obviously my watch. Then in these pouches, I just put the necklaces. Sorry, this is really hard to do with one hand. The, um, yeah, the necklaces that I sometimes wear. I generally swap out between this locket, which has got a gorgeous picture of my grandma in, me and my grandma, um, and the necklace that I'm wearing right now, which is just a plain, diamond from Monica Vinida. So yeah, that's my little jewellery pouch organised. Plenty of room for more earrings, but most of the ones I wear are like little huggies, so they didn't really fit in the holes. But yeah, I think that's a good job done. So whenever I go away now, I'll just be able to take this um, instead of like rummaging through my whole big jewellery box. Also, I thought while I'm here, I'll just show you a couple of my favourite perfumes at the moment. This Gypsy Water by Byredo, my boyfriend got me this for Christmas and I adore it so nice and fresh for the spring and then also this um maison france's coeur de jeanne one it is number 724 and it is beautiful i am so obsessed with this for spring i was very kindly gifted it actually from a pr company you may remember me showing in a vlog but it is beautiful so those are my two go-to's at the moment in terms of spring scents Got a nice collection going on here though, mostly Jo Malone. This one is a really good one for summer from Jo Malone. Bitter Mandarin, such a pretty bottle as well with like the pebble top. So I've just packed away all the HelloFresh bits and I thought I would show you the recipes that I got for this week. 
Cajun spice bass with a chive dressing, sirloin steak and hand cut rosemary chips, which is a bit of a special one. So I'm going to save that for the weekend. I've got a hair and I can feel it. To go with that, I've got triple cheese garlic focaccia bread, which looks so yummy. And then I also got lamb cofters and balsamic fig sauce. So I think I'm actually going to go for the sea bass tonight, which is only... Oh, it's 35 to 40 minutes. That's not too bad. Two of my five a day, under 650 calories. So I'm gonna make this one and I will show you when it's done. Also, don't forget you can use my code AmyBeth60 for a nice big Helen Fresh discount. This is not part of an ad. Um, I just wanted to share it on my vlog with you guys. So it is now the evening and I'm about to prep dinner for tonight. I am really looking forward to this. It's actually only 20 to six, but I'm so hungry. I'm gonna do it now. So we have, as I mentioned, the sea bass. Got all my ingredients here. Um, and then this is the recipe, sorry, the method on the back. So I'm just gonna follow this and get it all done. just about to tuck in to my dinner it looks so yummy let me show you how good does that look so obviously we've got the crispy sea bass on the top and then underneath is a mixture of white potato sweet potato tender stem broccoli and then this is like a chive and lemon dressing so good so i think while i'm here i may as well just end the vlog i really hope you guys have enjoyed watching if you have it would be amazing if you could give this video a like and if you are new to my channel i would love it if you subscribed and i will see you all very soon with another video bye <laughs>